What's going on guys, it's your boy D, welcome back to another video, and today guys, I have another how-to video for you guys. The last how-to video got a lot of good feedback, so please hit that like button so that way I know that these videos is exactly what you guys want. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe, I just posted a 22 kill game with Lifeline. I mainly don't play Lifeline, but I recently got her heirloom, and fuck, I've been playing non-stop Lifeline, and honestly, she's great. She's a really good legend still, and I honestly think she's kind of slept on and i honestly think she kind of needs a buff you know lifeline buff season four i think that would be pretty dope but anyways guys let's get started with the video now i want to talk about being aggressive now obviously being aggressive doesn't only just mean coming into every fight like a maniac with an r99 being aggressive also means to push people when you know for a fact the odds are in your favor i laser this bangalore here i realize that she's low she has purple shield, so she's probably at 120 health. So I push her. I push her really hard with the L star. Playing aggressive really ultimately means pushing the tempo. I'm not peeking this corner, just shooting at her. I'm actually getting up in her face and taking her one-on-one -on -one straight on. Because I pushed this corner, she actually missed a lot of her shots and only hit me for 40 damage. So moral of the story is when you have the upper hand in a fight, push aggressively. I'm not going to expect it. Some people can't handle it, and most likely you'll win the gunfight. Now in this situation, I was actually caught in a really, really bad sandwich here. I got sandwiched by two teams, and I know in this game, it definitely feels like it feels like the end of the world. You can't really do anything. I feel like all hope is lost, but the best thing to do is to never give up because there's so many times in this game where I'm stuck in a really bad situation and I end up winning it. This is actually a perfect example of one of those. When you're stuck in a sandwich, you have two options. To run away and hope to God you live or to push one side of the sandwich and ultimately that's what I had to do <laughs> I was fighting this Pathfinder with barely any health barely any shields he had half shields and full health, and I also had another team sniping me in the back as I was shooting this guy. <laughs> so never give up, keep going, and I promise you that with that mindset, you'll be able to accomplish a lot more situations than usual. Now, in this next situation, this is a really good example of using your environment. You need to be able to use your environment, guys, if you're in a bad situation. Here, this Gibraltar, I kill him pretty easily, but I end up losing my shields. So I'm at 100 health. This guy has blue. As you can tell, I'm running around all over the place. I jump on top here, jump right over him, strafe on him right here, and I'm able to get the kill. I want you guys to look at my health right now. Look at it right now. What is it? Is it moved yet? Have I taken a bullet yet? Not yet, nope. I haven't gotten shot yet. And I get the kill. <laughs> the reason why I'm telling you to look at my health is because after that Gibraltar fight, I didn't get a single bullet into me from this Pathfinder. Why? Because I'm moving all around the place. I'm moving like a chicken with his head cut off. I'm jumping around, I'm leaping over shit. I'm making myself unpredictable, and because of that, I was able to push the odds into my favor. This person had blue shields, I only had health. So with everything being said in this video, make sure you be aggressive, make sure you don't give up, and make sure you use the environment to your advantage in any way you can. If you add all those three things together into your gameplay, I promise you guys you'll be able to win way more gunfights, be able to win more games, 
and you'll be adding more steps in the path that you want to take to be a better apex legends player all right guys that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys did enjoy please make sure to leave a like if you do enjoy this content please subscribe i live stream almost every single day i also make videos like this on the weekly so please subscribe hit the notification bell by the way guys on this day february 19th marks the one year anniversary for my youtube channel so if you came this far into the video please let me know down in the comments section below i will be doing a one year special soon in the next couple days so make sure you guys get ready for that anyways guys i'll catch you guys on the next one see you later